Hello, my name is Hazel Owen. I'm working with Eddie on the Virtual Professional Development Project, the VPD project. What I would like to do is just give a little bit of background behind the purpose of the project, the members who've been involved so far, their feedback, and hopefully where we might be going in the future. So some of the um, information about why this project has been done. What we were hoping is that all schools can identify their learning needs, so that the support required around that, including their teachers and helping them. What, what's their professional development going to look like um, so that they're able to help their learners to the best of their ability and to really um, enhance the learning experience for, for students. The model needs to be sustainable and scalable and also it needs to be a model that uses existing resources and findings from existing projects so the idea is that for example we've got the, the, the wonderful digistore resources we also have in the ministry of education the suite of tools and a whole heap of support structures around that so it's quite important to involve those also, it's very important to think about the wider educational community and context in New Zealand, um, in particular, of course, the learners and the parents and other education institutions and how do they dovetail together. So the idea is that teachers do a, either a formal qualification or don't study for a specific qualification, but they receive mentoring and peer feedback and support within a community of interest, which has a lot of online focus and also access to some of the resources, as I've already mentioned there. The members that we have so far within this virtual community, we have quite a wide variety of people here, but not just from within the project. So we've got 10 core teachers involved in the project and people, uh, other educators and interested people from around New Zealand. The great thing here is that you get a lot of different energies involved in the project, and a lot of different feedback that's, that's given and um, access to other areas of expertise, which is awesome. The 10 members who are involved are from mixed sectors. We've got high school, mainly high school, tertiary and primary and from mixed disciplines as well. So it's, it's quite eclectic. So far what we've done is we've had one face-to-face -face meeting in December, which was essential to set up sort of that rapport and also encourage teachers to shape how they wanted their VPD. We've since had a meeting in June in Wellington um, and it took that six months to really uh, get the community to form, to trust each other, to start giving feedback to each other. So that's been an essential six months. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a little concerning at one point. We were wondering if it was actually working within those first six months um, whilst people did get to know each other. So the spaces involved, obviously, because we've got uh, geographically dispersed teachers, the online spaces are really essential. So we have Moodle, which is the showcase or the, the formal area um, for the community. Um, within this, you've got the formal sort of tutorials and how-to and best practices and links to things like that. And you've also got a sand pit for teachers to trial things before they take them out to their, their students. So it's like a safe place to play. So for example, one of the teachers here, they've trialed something which they have since taken to their own school Moodle site, set up a couple of courses, well actually it's their cluster site, and is, is now using it with students and getting heaps of fantastic evaluation which is feeding straight back into the course itself. I was able to help a little bit. Uh, what I've uh, been, been trialling is using uh, screen capture video to give feedback but also give just-in-time training along the way so that if I've, I'm sort of suggesting a, a change, a shift, then the teacher gets instant a ha how to, how on earth do I actually implement that change. From Moodle Teachers can click directly out to Adobe Connect where we have monthly meetings. If the Adobe Connect, if there's issues with bandwidth, we'll, we'll use Skype. I'm also trialing Flash Meeting. Within these monthly meetings, we discuss pedagogy, we discuss what they're doing with their students, we, we also sort of build relationships and rapport. 
And since we've had the meeting in June, the teachers have also asked if we can also have sort of once a term whole group meeting, if we can get timetables to get together there and have a discussion and share some ideas collaboratively as a team in it synchronously. The other neat thing that's been made available by the Moodle for New Zealand schools is a module on uh, how to use Moodle that can be worked through in a self-directed manner. It goes all the way through and has a really great focus on the design for pedagogy. So that's available in the BPD Moodle. The informal space for participants is the name. Here, participants can create their own discussions, they can add their own photographs, videos, they can leave private messages on uh, via, via email in the name, or they can leave messages on the members' walls, for instance, which has been really great, a great way of cementing relationships within the community. Other things that we've been able to do is advertise events. So here um, participants are being invited to join the NetSafe initiative. We've been able to look at New Zealand specific materials for contextualised type resources. So we've got Interface Magazine here and Moodle for New Zealand Schools, as I mentioned before, we've got a fantastic newsletter that they bring out. Links and a sort of a one-stop shop approach for Ministry of Education type funded initiatives and guidelines. And the really great thing has been being able to, if a teacher expresses um, something that they would like to try or something that they would like to achieve within their classes or ask their students to achieve, then being able to tailor resources specifically has been fantastic. So here for Tereo Māori, for example, you've got some ideas of how people are already starting to use um, different approaches to learning and some of the links to the resources that are being used, some of the initiatives and creative projects, and finally some of the tools that might be useful. And teachers, they can, they can use some or all, or they can cherry pick what they want to use or what they don't want to use. And this also brings in um, a lot of research that's being done out there nationally and internationally. Feedback to date has been quite interesting. One of the things that w that's been said around having a national coordinator is the regular contact has been essential. The advice and feedback has been really valuable. And also just somebody who's got a genuine interest in what they're doing and regularly pops in and sees sort of what's happening and um, what, how their students finding it. One of the um, respondents said, we would have been headless chooks without someone to knit us together and establish and maintain momentum. Interestingly, when in this survey that we're looking at here, one of the big focuses is on affective factors, belonging, belief, lonely. So you can't underestimate the value of building a community for the affective factors rather than the, this is how you use something and this is how you do something. And one of, one of the wonderful ones here is that becoming part of a community, getting to know other VPD members has given me a sense of belonging because we have common feelings and goals and because the future is out there and we can make a positive change for our learners. So it's, it's pretty exciting. And the wonderful thing is, if we go and look at the, this is just a draft model of what VPD might look like in a national rollout. The members of the initiative so far have had quite a lot of input into this and how it's shaped. It's built in existing cluster models. And again, the focus is on empowering the teachers to negotiate, identify and negotiate their own learning outcomes so that they can make the biggest difference for their learners and the learning experience. Please do um, drop me a line if you've got any questions or ask Eddie and thank you very much for listening today.